Hey there folks, welcome back to another video review and I have two more Beskar Ingot replicas from the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian that have come in this week and I'm ready to review them and compare them to each other and to the first three that I got and as you can see these two are all completely different sizes even from the first three that I got. I haven't found a single Beskar that matches any of the sizes I have so far and they have just all been different designs and looks and treatments and materials so it's been kind of a whirlwind and kind of a hit or miss on which ones I like or not. So what I have in front of you here, I have the three laying down are the first set of Beskar replicas that I did in my first review and the two standing up in the background are the two that I just got in this week. I am still waiting for version 2.0 from Falkenstall, uh, which is the one from the middle. And then I'm also waiting for, I think, two more from one individual seller on Facebook, uh, Angry Ape Replicas, I believe the name was. But I will do a video review for the Falkenstall version 2.0, as well as the other creators' pieces once they do come in. But I figure I have two more for you to take a look at and give you my opinion on them all. So the two that are standing, I have... On the right, by a shop called 3D Prints by FIFA. Apparently, it's one to one scale, measuring six inches by three inches by five inches, which I will measure as well. Honestly, not sure where he got the one to one scale measurements from because I haven't seen anyone claim to be one to one scale, and I don't think we have anything to confirm what the actual sizes are. And to be honest, I think it's just a marketing or advertising gimmick because. It is a pretty damn big piece of Beskar that is way too big, even by on-screen standards. And I'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. It is printed in PLA. For the record, I have no clue whatsoever about anything to do with 3D printing materials or casting or just any of the materials that are being done. You know, I know very basic, you know, plastic, metal, aluminum, wood, whatever it may be. I'll just share the information that I have from the shop listings. On the left, we have the Lion's Den Beskar, which is so far pretty darn good looking. One of my favorite favorites that there are too, but I'll get into that in just a moment. And this one is cold cast with aluminum powder in urethane resin. It measures approximately 120 millimeters by 70 millimeters or 4.7 inches by 2.75 inches. So as before, I'll go ahead and look, do a closer look at each individual piece and I'll do a size measurement and weight measurement and then give my thoughts on overall the piece itself and comparing it to the other ones. So let's go ahead and start off with the one by FIFA here on the right. Like I said, this one is pretty big and even though I say it's big, I keep re-watching the first episode and the other episodes where we do actually see the best scar. It's almost, I mean, I think the thickness on this one is right, but the height is a little bit, or the, you know, the actual length is a little bit too much. So I think, let me just share the, my thoughts on the sizes right now. I think this width and maybe somewhere in between this height or maybe even this height is where we kind of want to be at because again, we don't have any official numbers on the size or weight of those props or what real Beskar in the Mandalorian universe is like. Let me go ahead and stand all of these up together so you have an idea of just how different these sizes are. And obviously when you, if you're doing this as like a cosplay piece or you won't really tell, but there are some pretty significant size differences between all of these and then this last one here. And the width kind of increases slowly with each one. And then here is the thickness for each one as well. Let me get them kind of level with each other so that you can see or even holding them like this for you. So you can see all the size differences in the thickness between all of them. So with this one, this is definitely, even though it's the biggest piece, it's the lightest, super light. And I'll get the weight in just a moment. All the designs and waves here are embossed. So you can feel that. The Imperial logo is pretty deep in, so you can see the gap and there's nothing nothing of the material design in the actual logo segment. And this one does have kind of those swoops and circles that I mentioned in the last review that when you actually see the Beskar on screen, it doesn't really have these circles. It's more of all the waves that we do see in it. And another thing that I did mention that some of the other pieces didn't have 
these bars are included in this one as well. But we can't really tell if we see all the waves on the back and the sides, but I really do think we can. And I forgot, I think, oh yeah, this one we do see on the back as well. And this one, and this one too. And how about this new one? Oh, and not this one either. So I do think for it to be really close to screen accurate, we need all these designs going on the sides and the back. And the color, it's more of that silverish, chrome, almost chrome looking color to it. And actually the bottom has these. I'm not sure if this is from the printing process, but pretty large piece we have here. Let me go ahead and bring in the scale for you all. This one comes in at 1.8 ounces. So this is about five and a half inches tall. And because my box isn't that big, I'll have to start at the three. It's just under three inches wide. And for the thickness, it's about a half inch thick. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one by Lions Den. And this one has a very similar coloring to the one by Falkenstall here. So it's pretty close. I think this one's a little bit darker. And then the one by Parton Prince almost has that, it's more of a silverish shine to it than the dark gray. And here this one is actually has a good weight also. And we don't really have the waves. I think this one is the most different from all the rest where you kind of see the broken patterns all throughout and they are indented into the piece as well so you can run your finger and feel all the grooves. There's another look. So I think this is the most unique design of them all only because I think they are just hand carved and hand designed by the seller. And then the Imperial logo is kind of rough as well in, in all the gaps. And in the back, I don't, I don't know if they went the cheap way out and just didn't finish it, but it's probably just part of the creating or casting process, but obviously nothing was really done. The sides and the back were just left flat. And this is the one that did have the measurements also. This one coming in about four and three quarter inches tall. And again, starting at three, just under three inches wide. And I'll use, let's see, the millimeters portion, about 0.6 millimeters thick. Now for the weight on this guy. And this one comes in at 3.2 ounces, so pretty significant weight added on this one as opposed to the first super light. Here we have all of the five Beskar pieces lined up. They are all pretty different even in color schemes and design patterns and the imperial stamp sizes and designs are all different for the most part. My favorite, I have to say, is probably this one, the one by Falkenstall, because after watching the Mandalorian scenes with the Beskar multiple times, I think hers is the most accurate from what we have right now. And again, we do have version two coming out and we also have, or I also have the other Beskar pieces coming in. So as of this set, Anna's by Fal or Falkenstall by Anna is my favorite because it seems to be the most screen accurate, at least on the front. Now the one bad thing, the back didn't have that those bars. It was just a copy, but it's not a big deal when it comes to that because you are only seeing the front here. The one on the far right that I just got by Lions then, the design pattern is the biggest drawback to that one. And it doesn't really have the shine that you see in Anna's. The one in the middle uh, that was by Parton Prince, I love, I think the uniqueness about that one. The one to the left of him or his is more like a wood appearance. And then the one on the far left that I also just got today by FIFA is I think just too big. But at the same time, I can't really judge that because we don't have the official sizes from the show. Right now it just seems so big because all the other ones are so small. And for all I know, that can be the actual size, but there's no way for him or any of us to back that statement or that fact up with what this is supposed to look like. Regardless, I think they're all pretty unique. They can all kind of feel or fit into any need that you have. And we just kind of go from there. But like I said, I do have more Beskar pieces coming in. So stay tuned for that review. Um, I hope you enjoyed the overview I've been giving so far. If you have any questions about the other three, make sure to check out the first video. 
or if you just have any questions about any of them, feel free to leave your comments down below. Uh, thank you again for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and follow to all my channels and pages and stay tuned for the next video.